creatures, creatures of the undergrowth or creepy crawlies to give them the appealingly popular name, are not a clearly demarcated biological category. In this book we define them as a group of little beings that crawl about on the forest floor. Snakes, lizards, toads, scorpions, spiders, beetles, ants and caterpillars. In the current classification system they belong to the category of reptiles, amphibians, worms, insects and other anthropods. Very different names were used in the past, but even then there was no classification for such very diverse creatures as a group. Yet they were often lumped together and described with such dismissive terms as lower, imperfect or animals of lesser regard. The term crawly creatures has a double meaning. It alludes to the way the animals move in and around the earth and, on the other hand, it typifies the disgust with which they had often been regarded since ancient times. In the hierarchy of all beings, they come way below humans. That only began to change in the 16th and 17th century, when they suddenly found themselves blinking in the limelight. They popped up in works of art, as subjects of scholarly discussion and as popular collectibles. So, although the term crawly creatures can have a negative connotation, it is deliberately used in this book to indicate just how much our perception of these little creatures has evolved throughout history, right up to the present day, from abhorrence to amazement. The extent to which the appreciation of these animals could alter down through the centuries and consequently how artists depicted them is the subject of this collection of essays.